Good afternoon, my name is Mike Scanlon. I'm city manager for the city of Osawatomie, Kansas, and this is my weekend update for July 2nd, 2021. If you remember over the last month, month and a half, I've talked about the five big goals that we have as a community. The one I wanna talk a little more about today is economic development. And economic development is keyed on a number of things, one of which is planning, that sets up your community in terms of how you orient yourself to retail, to visitors, to parking, uh, to those things that create economic activity. And whether that's outdoor dining for restaurants, events that you have that generate tourism in your community, the stores that you attract based on the uh, type of uh, items, products, uh, services that your community wants, it all works together. We're going to start a planning process in our downtown that's meant to help redevelop the downtown. And don't think of redevelopment just as buildings, but also think about it in terms of the type of spaces, public spaces that we create that allow us to hold events, that allows more people to become part of our community, whether it's during the day, over the weekend, or at night. We received a planning grant from Mark uh, last fall, and, and it's called Planning Sustainable Places. And that Planning Sustainable Places grant is part of the Creating Sustainable Places and also connects to the region's long range, what's called the, the Connected 2050 Plan. Uh, the city of Osawatomie was selected among other regional applicants to further vibrancy, connections, and create more green places within the Kansas City metropolitan area. Uh, the key outcomes that we want to have as part of our plan is how to reconnect or connect the town to its past and to its future. And one of those future is the Flint Hills Trail. Uh, how do we build a active, sustainable, renewable, and walkable community so that we don't need cars to get everywhere that we go? Um, how can we incorporate bicycle and pedestrian infrastructure into plans as we look at repairing and replacing our streets, repairing and replacing our sidewalks. Uh, then what is it when we put all of that together and put it into a pot will help us attract people both to live here and to come here to eat, visit, play, recreate, and become part of a active community, not just during the week, but also on the weekend. Uh, we're going to collect a lot of data. We're going to do a lot of surveys. Uh, I'm going to give you what I would call right now calendar version five, and we're almost done with this. And this is what you can expect over the next four months. There's going to be public meetings in July, August, and October. We will be starting a survey of all of our residents, and you'll be able to go to our website, osawatomieks.org forward slash Oz Commons, and you can then uh, access all of that information. We'll put it on Facebook. You're gonna see it in our inserted newsletter. And here it is uh, again for you to see. Pay attention to this planning effort. This is what's gonna set the foundation for our downtown going forward. And when I say going forward, I'm talking about for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 years. This plan will be the foundation that allows us to apply for grants both at the state and federal level. We will be in regional competitions for other grants. And then it's going to depend on the private sector to see what the ideas and the aspirations of the community are and to also invest in our community. So with that, have a great 4th of July. I look forward to talking to you next week.